Oh man. So as you guys know, uh, I always do unboxings now and reactions and reviews to shoes, but it's a special occasion, man. Um, uh, we got our hands on one of the grails. A lot of you are familiar with Sean Witherspoon. If you aren't, um, as you can see, I'm wearing a Sean Witherspoon inspired shirt because Sean, uh, everything that they've done at round two, man, everything that they're doing is so amazing. Roll the clip. These, I'm copping. What's selling first? I just trust me. Chris, you fucking lying sack of crap. You so you see this thrifting environment, everything that they're bringing, and and it's being is is so big now. It's bigger than I think that they even had hopes for with gas and being able to bring um bring back these vibes right here. You know what I'm saying? The classic guest striped tee, um, George Marcianos. You guys saw um in the movie also. I always think we're gonna steal something. I know what you want, dog. Um. Uh, Sean, he brought back to the light and he has this appreciation for and he's an authentic guy. And now Air Max Day 326. Great pressure on myself. I think I'm my like biggest critic. I want it to be perfect. Yeah. The design, everything's amazing. Corduroy, the whole concept, man. But let me take it back real quick to Complex Ambition vibes. <laughs> oh, man. Damn, that complex ambition shit is kind of better. I don't know, Sean. I'm sorry. <laughs> Designed by at Deja Sang. But you guys already know, um, man, I might just have to get in right into it. I don't know what else to say. From Providence, Rhode Island, East Coast. So Concepts of Owen Boston was our only option. They had a raffle. Uh, first it was first come, first serve, 7 p.m. Then they canceled it and made it a raffle. But then uh, I had a hunch. I was like, um, unclaimed pairs, stuff like that. I know something happens. And um, Dion, a lot of you guys know him from Concepts, a creative director over there uh but we went man uh we waited in line for an hour one hour drive wait another uh, uh, hour and a half in line and man we definitely got him you know what i'm saying we got lucky and this reminds you that you always gotta go with your gut feeling and you gotta persevere no matter what man but oh man i gotta i'm going crazy in this bitch i'm gonna have to bring my, my my buddy up in here my buddy teddy man gotta get crazy a little bit because this shit is crazy yo so a lot of people probably looking at me, oh, you guys are so lucky, you're so lucky, blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry, man. If you enter the Nike app and you saw this message right here, you probably feel like this. I'm sorry. In addition to the shoes, we also have exclusive items from Concepts, posters, limited edition posters that came with each pair, and we have a Concepts shirt, exclusive. Air Max Day shirt, but I'm gonna get right into the shoes, man. Here we fucking go. Right there, there you guys have it right there. Those are the boxes right there. Sizes 9.5, 12, 13, available. An 8, possibly coming in soon. Still waiting on a confirmation from the Nike app because posters. Gonna get close ups later. And also the exclusive concept shirt. Here we have the exclusive poster. As you can see, it's an equation created by Nike, I believe. Concepts probably collaborate on it. I guess Palm Beach times two foam finger hats, jeans. Uh, oh, okay. I guess that's the vibes you get with the shoe. You get like a palm tree vibe, foam finger vibe, wave vibe. Get a hat vibe, corduroy hat vibe, jean vibe, patch vibe. And it equals the shine with a spoon. Exclusive shirt, size large, Air Max, Concepts Day. Long sleeve and black men's. You know what I'm saying? Nike logo on right there. I didn't even know it had the damn this is a Nike shirt. See 160 retail. Sean with a spoon right there. SW Lemon Wash Vintage Green Blue Fury. You know what I'm saying? The box in itself deserves appreciation. As you can see on this box, it has some yellow tear right here. Wear and tear. I'm not sure if it's from the shoes, from the packaging of the box. The side of the swoosh of the box, the Nike, everything's corduroy vibe. They went all out for Sean, man. Limited edition box. You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. Air Max Day, so they gotta go all out. This is like Christmas. It's like Christmas morning. Da -da -da -da. More air. For the 30th anniversary of the Air Max 1, 12 revolutionaries were invited to design the future of air. The first ever Air Max designed by the community. For the community, the winner was Sean Witherspoon. 
vintage store owner and lifelong Air Max fan who brought together an Air Max 97 upper and the iconic Air Max 1 midsole and outsole like the corduroy Nike hats of the 80s that inspired them made to wear and design to fray the more you wear them the better they get Nike did a hell of a job man Adidas gotta step it up but here we are getting into the box more you have right here an extra pair of laces blue laces teal laces this, this was attached to the shoe but we're not getting to that bad boy yet you know should be appreciated man the Nike paper itself is special. Different Nike logo right there. If you guys. Holy sh. God damn. In the flesh. Beautiful corduroy. You guys want to see him out the box, don't you? Guys. The glory shots, many say. If you guys are right now coming in your pants, I apologize, but that's what happens when you. Come across greatness. Oh my god, look at the damn swoosh. Damn it! Here are the laces I showed you guys a couple seconds ago. You guys can see right here, look at the Nike logo swoosh right there. Boom. We have the green, dark green. We have the fuchsia kind of purple blue. We have the teal baby blue. We have the pink. We have the gray. And we have the cake. I call, I call these the cornbread. Uh, cornbread, corn muffin, uh, baby got back, uh, butter yellow. You know, more details on the back. Look at the back tab. Now you have VA to LA, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Virginia. Shout out to Sean, that's where he's from, and that's where they started the round two store, original one. Then they went out to LA, and that's where the shoe was created with inspiration like Ben Baller and people who were there sitting creating the shoe, you know what I'm saying? Skate the Great. Shout out to all of them, but here you have it, guys. Look at the back of these, man. Besides the soles, you have the happy smiley face. You know what I'm saying? Look at that bastard smiling at you. He knows you're happy when you wear these. You know what I'm saying? It's a hippie shoe, man. I swear, like, I mean that in the most positive way. Shout out to Sean on some hippie shit, but I like that vibe. You know what I'm saying? Inside of these look like a shaggy carpet. Look at this blue. On the inner sides right here, you have the little velvet type vibe. Yellow velvet. Throughout the actual laces, you see they have these little... You know what I'm saying? Silver tips. Pretty dope, man. I thought they had gold tips. They actually have silver tips. In the first place, one of them is actually gold and the other one is silver. Look at that shit. God damn. What the fuck? These little minor details, man. That's all what matters at the end of the day. If you create an art, or we just creating a regular shoe. We're creating art. That's what it is. Even the bottom of the shoe. Look at the goddamn sole. They kept the inspiration of the colors down here. They kept it as they should have. Pink, gray, blue. And the yellow on the top. This is some buttery cornbread shit. I swear to God. This is actual jean material. So they weren't playing with that goddamn poster. And you guys want to hear the sweet sound of glory? Let's hear it. Ooh. It's like ripping off a band-aid. So the shit looks fire without a patch too. You might not even need this thing. Look at that man. Whew. So far I really just can't get over the fact that everything's corduroy. The tongue is fully corduroy. This is all corduroy, man. This is crazy, man. It's really fucking corduroy. I feel like this shit is hard to make. You can't make this shit in any regular factory. God damn. I was saying earlier, uh, very iconic shoe, very iconic moment. Uh, Sean Witherspoon, uh, Air Max 97s. Uh, I apologize if I'm looking crazy right now, but sometimes we gotta humble brag ourselves because in moments like these, you guys have to understand, this shoe is never going to be released again. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. The whole time I was on the phone. My bad. Nigga, because you're in a closing, right? This, the room is bigger. Thank you did a hell of a job. And personally, man, I've been on some Adidas shit, blah, blah, blah. But this right here, man, I, this is hard to top. Hard to top, you know what I'm saying? I'm on the phone with the shoe made of corduroy. Fully corduroy. Uh... A 97 upper and a Air Max 1 bottom sole. Uh, can't get much better than that, man. It works. The aesthetic, everything about it. This is a shoe that's made to be worn, like I said. Or also, you got to keep this shit as a grail. This shit's going to be in a museum one day. If you guys are interested to owning a pair yourself, to do one of those options. Wear them. You know what I'm saying? Love these shoes. Or if you guys just want to keep them as a grail. You know what I'm saying? As something that they really are. 
but you know what I'm saying follow the complex ambition dot supply that's the Instagram uh, we have also grilled accounts that you guys can also follow grill.com slash sound sales and grill.com slash complex ambition uh, but what more can we say man if you guys are interested in just chatting with us you know what I'm saying right there in the bottom right of your screen you have my at name you can hit me up whenever bottom left of your screen is a complex ambition page hit us up whenever you know what I'm saying this is not a game to us um we also represent a lot of uniqueness to us we might not be a commodity or a materialistic thing we're not a shoe but you guys can look to us as inspiration and a grail you know what I'm saying this Air Max right here has just inspired us you know what I'm saying uh, we had a hell of a time out there in Boston getting the shoe we were so ecstatic when we got it you know what I'm saying and again this was not planned uh, it was a uh, go with the gut feeling in a moment sometimes you gotta do that and you just gotta go with that um, and that's what we did man and, uh, very excited time, very excited moment. If you guys weren't able to get your hand on a pair of these, man, don't worry, man. Uh, you will, or if not, don't worry. This is all materialistic things, guys, you know what I'm saying? I have a fucking shoe on my head. It's for fucking entertainment. This is not that serious. Wow, the whole time I had the ear on my, on my, my ear, the phone, the whole time I had a shoe on my ear, I heard nothing. I was deaf. It's a good-ass fucking soul. This is, what is, what is, um, what did Fat Joe do? Olympics. I'm not damn shine. I think his fucking ass put some thrift, some thrift and some thrift scent. This shit tastes like some thrifted jeans. Thank you guys for watching this. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I usually do this in a car, but I had to take a more serious role because it's a more serious release. You know what I'm saying? It's not even about the views. I hope this shit gets negative views. Uh, not really. I hope it gets a lot, but fuck it. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking care. But recording the video with these shoes got me a little bit nervous and shit. I've been acting a little bit out of my element, a little bit quiet. But fuck that shit. Sound. Pump, pump it up. Just push. Pump, pump it up.